Mateo started with OSU when he was like three years old. Mm -hmm. He started with his sister. They were able to take him up uh, a year and uh, he's loved playing soccer yeah. for forever. Like I remember that he started walking, he had a soccer ball because he'd follow his dad on the soccer pitch. It's been such a great experience having him and, and the girls play uh, soccer through the community and we've built so many nice friendships mm -hmm. and that. So. How about you? How are um, things with the you? same. Um, Luca is one of three. He's the last of the three children, um, and so he followed his older brother and older sister all the time. So he had no choice. He had a ball at his feet, you know, from birth almost. <laughs> monkey so, see, monkey yeah, do type thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And he loved it. You know, when the ball is bigger than they are, yeah. he's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, and he played up as well, and uh, he excelled. He just loved it and. What yeah. No, he went to. He CF started Montreal. with OSU, um, then Hotspurs, then the Fury, and then Montreal Impact Academy, and Carlton, and now Atletico. Ah, uh, Carlton. Yeah, long road. <laughs> yeah, that was an exciting time too. It's great to have them home. Yeah, like for sure. Yes, to finally see them play yeah. play at home and play not have home. to travel, not yeah. have to do any of that. Yeah. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Yeah. And people have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like we've met so many people along the way. You know, lifetime friendships. Yeah. Um, I've I don't know about you, but we've had people reach out saying, you exactly. know, seeing yes. you know Mateo yes. and um, you know congratulate him. Yeah. And it's just kind of nice to still have that type of rapport with you. Right, and the support. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. We felt the same with Luca. Like when they announced it. Yeah. Everybody's reaching out, how great, so proud of him, and they work hard, right? So it's really nice to get this. And, it, it, yeah. and that's what we see. We see how hard they mm -hmm. work and how driven they are. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they just want to be better. Right. And, you know, the, they've got peers that are like-minded, so that helps right. a lot. Exactly. We make each other better, yeah. better right? Yeah. <laughs> It's good, you know, Atletico has been fantastic mm -hmm. with, with Mateo and uh, it's been really nice, you know, um, the welcome yeah. too because he came from right. another team. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so it was, uh, yeah. it was really nice. Yeah, it was quite exciting when the, the U Sports draft and mm -hmm. to hear Luca's name and, and to get chosen from a home team, yeah. that, was, that was amazing, yeah. You don't yeah, have to ship so them out again. <laughs> yeah, we know how that feels, right? Yeah, that yeah. was tough, letting them go. So when yeah. did Luca leave? He was 13. Went to Montreal, wasn't too far, mm -hmm. uh, but both um, his dad and I are from Montreal, so we had family, so he stayed with family. So that was a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we still missed him. He was still our baby, mm -hmm. but we were um, a little bit more at ease knowing that family his both sets of grandparents were there. He's got aunts and uncles and cousins, so it, it was it was, it was a nice support system for him there too. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it was a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Mateo left when he w he just turned 14, mm -hmm. went to Vancouver, um, a and farther. It, it was a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, you just can't hop on a bus and, and right. go over type thing. Great experience, mm -hmm. and then COVID. Oh, COVID wow. hit and yeah. you know high school finished and mm -hmm. we had he had to come back and then went to Carlton decided okay. to come back and go to school. That was nice to have him back. It was a little bit. It was well yeah. he hadn't been home for you know six oh. years. That's yeah. So it was nice and finally have Easter's together and family you know, dinners. Film family yeah. dinners. Yeah. Yeah. We missed him. He was uh, when he would take the train back to Montreal. We'd all drive him to the train station. It was so cute. And his brother and sister would run al run alongside the train. He would <laughs> sit by the window and wait. And our heart would break for another week till we saw him yeah. again. But, yeah. uh, so it's nice that we can watch him at home. Yeah. Just it's, take the bus or just drive and here we are. And yeah. be there because, exactly. you know, there's so many ups and downs. Like there's so much adversity when, when you're yes. playing. And, um, 
you know, it's it's not always rosy. Yeah. It's hard. It's yeah. the emotions that you have to, you know, uh, deal with and mm -hmm. you know just yeah. making sure that they know that we're still there to support them yeah. and that they're they've got someone exactly so. yeah family's everything yes <laughs> I think it's a huge huge weight off when they know that they have that family support mm -hmm. it's it's like a weight off like they don't have to worry about that aspect of it they can go and and work hard and know whatever happens, their family's there for them. Yeah, you know, always supporting. Support good, bad, high, low. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, because there's fun. a lot of it. <laughs> there is, like you said, it's not all roses, right? Yeah. It's tough, but, um, but I think it makes them stronger, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. um, it helps them develop as mm -hmm. people. It, mm -hmm. You know, they can overcome adversity. Mm -hmm. They, you know, have a lot of team bonding and, you know, it's, some, just a great feeling yeah. for them. And I know Luca's really happy to have uh, Matteo there to guide him too. He's been really great with him. They've been, yeah. it's really nice yeah. to have seen, see them both yeah. on the same team again. This oh. is beautiful. Mm. That looks delicious. Oh wow, so good. Yeah, when did it happen for Mateo, because Luca was a youth sport, so we all gathered in front of the TV and we just wow. lost it. So excited for him, and like you said, being at home, oh. you know, and getting a chance to see him play, and so we're looking forward to that for sure. But when did Mateo learn that he was? Uh... I'm trying to remember the actual <laughs> date, but it was, you know, it was so nice yeah. to to find like it was his decision right. on what what he wanted to do, mm -hmm. and I think. It was nice for him to be able to come home. Yeah, you know, to instead of you know everybody coming around, it was nice to have yeah. everybody at home yeah. and, and watching the games on TV. But it was even better to, to be now there. everybody's yeah. at the stands. You know, you know I saw your family last night. That was a great group <laughs> group family picture. Yeah, it was That's nice. nice. Uh, Matteo had been um, in Rotterdam and had played there when he was with the Whitecaps. And we can't see any of the games, so it's right. kind of it's it's oh, hard. It's awesome. So this you know, the Nationals yeah. being at home yeah. in front of it, like it, that was incredible. It's and great. every game going into overtime, <laughs> we got to see more and more. And it's like, how are these guys still running? Right? Three, uh, it was it's almost like, like three games, three games in one. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just beautiful. It was so yeah. exciting. Yeah, I loved every minute of it. Mm -hmm. And then to see their faces too, right? Hi Atleti family, looking forward to seeing you at the Cinco de Mami match on Sunday presented by La Carina. Looking forward to seeing everyone this Sunday, May 5th at 2 p.m. TD Place. See you there. Vamos Atleti!